Yeah, I can. It's kind of matted every a little bit everywhere. Um, little mats everywhere, like the legs especially. Like, let me show you. So you, if you're going to use a guard like this to leave the hair longer, this is all matted in there. These are matted right there. That's all mats. It's matted down in there, private parts. Same thing on this side. Coming down the leg, this is all matted in there. It's not that bad, but it's all tangled up. So now I gotta use a different blade for those areas. And I'm using the wider part of the comb to look. So that's all matted, which he just tried to bite me when I was grooming on that side. Cause when they're matted, you can't hardly, get, you have to get the comb through. This is a comb, you have to get it through. So now I have to come back with a different blade to get under that. I chose to go with the four guard because she wanted a summer cut, but she said not quite a summer cut. And I've never groomed these dogs before, so this is what I'm just gonna do this time because I'm trying to gauge what she means by not quite a summer cut. Except for because of the matting, I'm gonna have to come back different with the legs. And I can see he's licking his chomps, and that's kind of like I wanna bite you because he already tried to bite me. So I know that that's gonna, that could happen. Essentially, it could happen. So your 10 is your shortest, safest blade. I'm going to go to a seven because of the mats. So the feet are going to be a little shorter. The legs and feet are going to be shorter. There's lots of mats back there. There's lots of mats back here, but because it's a private area, I'm going to come back with a 10 on that. I'm waiting for him to kind of try to bite me again. So we're using our seven right now. it's all knotted in there if you can't just jab and do the tip of the blade like I'm doing which is not even touching the skin then get your tent because it's a, this is a safe area which means you can nip the dog bad in there so I'm gonna come back with a tent up in there and a tent down in the private area by the tummy instead of the seven and then we have his like sit counterpart over there because she's barking the whole time. We don't want dogs barking the whole time. It stresses everybody out. So if you have that situation, you can tell the client you need to break up the grooms separate. In this case, I'm gonna have her there, but it potentially could be a hazardous situation having a dog over there and a dog on the table. Steady. It's not like his feet mess with. So I'm gonna come back to my 10 now. And get some private parts. I like to clean that up really good because then the hair's not up in the poop when they poop. If you're not sure, take the dog out to poop and you'll see what hangs down in its, in its way like here. And this is just a rough end, so all this has to be done again, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but just you don't want to blow dry all this hair that's going to come off, so. Let's
This is an old guy and he's got little warts and stuff. So I'm trying to just jab a little bit so I can always watch where my blade is. I'm not really touching the body of the skin with my blade. It's kind of, I don't groom like that. I don't know how to explain it, but. sent me a picture I'm gonna try to um, mimic this picture here but every dog's face is different so that's what we're gonna try to do here it's not gonna be exact but did say she wanted the eye boogers all cleaned out really good. Don't get mad at me. I got my one guard now. I'm going to try it. There's a couple ways you can do it. I'm going to do the one guard reverse. You can do maybe a two guard down, kind of get the same effect. I'm going long first because I'm trying to match this picture, but taking less hair off now, so you can always take off more, but you can't put it back on, so. She does this, she likes his long chin, but this, this this is longer than this, so I'm probably not gonna touch the chin at all. So you can tell the sides of the face have been cut a little bit on the picture. Try it out. The hair is just a little different in general, so it's not going to be perfect, but you can try. I need to clean this up more. You don't like that? I'm going to do this like eyebrow arch thing right there, and then I'm going to take that all out and go this way. Don't pull. You can see it's cut there on the side, so I'm gonna cut this like that. Now it's different, it's longer and narrower here. Hold the skin so you don't cut the skin ever. Know where the end of your skin is.
still messy like the picture. I told her it looks messy, but we're doing the picture, so. Okay, we're gonna revisit it after the bath. Hi, baby. I think your teeth are bad, huh? Yeah, it's got rotten teeth here. Which is why he snaps his head a lot if I'm touching his face. It's painful. tell mom about that but he's 14 so he's not going to probably get a dental however we could probably try to get her on that gel fluid she can do the gel stuff at home i'm going to just kind of take this edge out here and those two there. oh these are like thinning sh shears there's another blending shears thinning shears we're just thinning this out instead of taking a blunt cut kind of took that edge off the thickness there is that nice I can put my phone up here. Let me see if there's any ear hair. Not really. Again, if I, I can go faster, I can keep going if I just put that ear hair on the dirty coat. There's not a lot, so that's good. Okay. This is here, I'm just going to clean the ears. They don't look dirty at all. Got some wax in that one. Alright, let's see how he does with his pads and stuff now. Moving to the boarding. I'm not digging, I can tell there's not a lot of, it's not matted or anything. I'm watching his body language in case he tries to bite me. No one wants to be bit. Pop, 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 pop. It's matted in there with some gum or glue. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. I'm going to pull there. Don't get mad at me. The breath stinks pretty bad because of the teeth condition. And right here, you can actually reach over and do this. He's pulling, so I know he doesn't like it. I am watching his body language. I don't think he's gonna like me doing the nails. We'll know here in a minute. I like to keep all the tools off the table. The nails, I can see the vein, there's not much to take off back here. So I'm just tipping them or you can just skip them. There's the black vein right there. If there's nothing to take off, don't take off anything. Just skip it. If you don't know, maybe you should take my training class on toenail trimming. Same thing here, I can see the vein on all of them. But I can tip a little bit while he's here, so. You never want to skip the dew claws because then they can just curl and grow. Let me see. Don't lick your chomps and don't think about biting me. Good. 
All right, we can stop there. Did you stop there already? Go. Thanks for watching Didi with My Favorite Groomer. We're gonna be on video two now with Jojo. We're cleaning everything up. We used a four guard. This should be fast because we did most of the grooming before the bath, so we want to be done with the dog in about an hour. These small dogs I should be done in 48 minutes from start to finish. Remember we used the seven, so why are we gonna do the four on the body, the legs again? We're gonna come back with the seven there. We're just gonna waste time if we try to keep doing that. The sound of my clippers, I can tell they need oil, but I'm not gonna do it now because the dog is clean. We'll put oil on the blade between the groom. Or I'm gonna change my tent, it's not horrible. Put that aside, that way you can remember to put oil on it. Remember his mouth hurts, so just be gentle with that area. If you remember to put everything back where it goes, then you don't have to struggle finding something. You can go faster. That's how you're gonna save time. So this is a one guard reverse. We'll scissor up everything else. And I'll come back with my seven on the legs. This brush doesn't do anything except for me. It does not detangle anything. It just moves the hair around. That's it. But it's pretty handy. We're gonna come back and scissor the feet anyway, but just get all the top edge off, top edge stuff off. I'm not digging in the skin areas because there's some skin flaps you can catch right there, but if you see it hanging in that corner back in there, you can take it out or come up this way, just the edge. If the dog is jumping and stuff, not with the seven. So, switch 
sweep all this so I can see what I'm working with. If the dog is moving around a lot, do not put your scissors on the table like I'm doing. When you're trimming this right here, there's sometimes knuckles there. Make sure you know where your knuckles are at or you're going to slice right into it. Especially on schnauzers. Isn't it funny when you move the hair how much comes back out even after you've already shaved it all I like to actually use my scissors are not super duper sharp they're a little dull that way if I grab a nail or something it's not that's just how I like to work it's not super super sharp come back with a 10 here a little bit it's safer to do that than my scissors should I leave the tail mm. So if he's looking down a lot, then just bring this up.
move it back and forth. This is where it always falls down later when they leave. Watch the throat. And then you can come down like you're doing a squat, so you're like down at their level. Hi, baby. Remember, that's just to move the hair, that's not to brush. I can feel the tangle, so I'm gonna get my regular brush out. And if you're not sure, you're gonna get your comb. Cause the brush does all the work, the comb doesn't lie. So you wanna check here, any snagging. good right she still wants that un untidy up look so I'm just gonna keep this minimal Good? Good to go? That's a wart. Don't cut that off. <laughs> David, that's an inside joke. David's on the camera here. <laughs> Cologne. I'm using sugar cookie right now. Good. Thank you for watching DD with My Favorite Groomer. Do you like my hair? It's growing out. You can order all the supplies online at myfavoritegroomer.com under supply store. If it's not on there, you can email me. Thanks for buying with me and thanks for being supportive. Bye.